Sweet. So I found a ravine and oh, 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 whoa, relax. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, and I was gonna say, one of the nice... <laughs> Oops! Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Pixelmon! And I lost. You guys know that, though. Yeah, I lost to James. It was pretty close, but I just don't know what happened at the end. Um, well, one of the things is I wasted, I think, two moves uh, trying to use a potion. And I think um, I think that's glitch. Uh, uh, what? Rude. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think that's glitched, but I'm not sure. Because um, uh, I think Jordan said that he had tried it as well. And didn't work for him either. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put that there now. Uh, so what are we gonna do today? So um, I definitely need to work on my Pixelmon and and their moves maybe as well. Um, uh, the only one that did really well was um, Munching Noodles, my Snorlax, uh, which I kind of knew um that it was a really good wall and um and he did very very well so i want to keep focusing on uh keeping his level high but i i do want to sort of um i guess okay so oops so what what do we have here so like i think we've got so many different types so i think i i don't think that's the problem i just probably i need to learn a little bit better which types work better than others on uh certain pokemon <sighs> but uh i think that um whew. oh no i thought i thought something changed there um there are a few things that i want to do and today uh well actually today i'd love i'd love to find a um i'd love to find a couple of boss pixelmon uh, to see if we can get some good drops uh, of some hand items that might help us in future battles. Because uh, I, the one thing I'm sure of is I want to win the next one. I, I don't, I don't, um, you know, James got the cool. Let's go put it on. Shh, 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 shh. I hope he wasn't wearing it when he logged off last. Let's go find out. Let's see if he. <gasps> okay, guys. Don't tell anyone, okay? Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Okay, so you put. Okay, once you put it like that. Okay, so. All right, let's just try it on. Let's just see how we would look if we were evil, okay? Just, 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 let's just, let's just do this, okay? Don't tell him anything about this, guys, okay? Nobody mention it. Don't go to his channel and his video and say, thing, try it on your rocket gear. Yep. Yep, actually, I look the same as James because, the, hold on, there. There we go. That's how I would look if I were evil. Team Rocket. Mm, wow, this, this armor is huge. Look how fat my arms are. Okay. Um, okay, I got to try it on, but, uh, next time I want whatever the exclusive prize is, so, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I want to win. So we got, we got, we got to work on that, guys, because, um, because, this is just ready, okay, yeah. Biro, be quiet, okay, I get it, I get it. Um, so let me see if we can, um, if we can find some bosses or, oh, God, uh, you know, <laughs> if if we could get a legendary to spawn and i'm also i think going to start working on the prank for james i have not forgotten and there are a couple of ideas i have one is a lot more ambitious than the other um wow greg buddy that's a that's a pretty can we okay all right so yeah this is a pretty good trainer right here uh this is fire versus fire um i guess can I burn him? It wasn't very effective. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, let's switch to um, water type. There we go. Yeah, that's not gonna work very well. So he's. I think this guy has all water or uh, water or flame. Yeah. So see flame again. So just do that. Do another water move. <laughs> one hit. Uh, another fire. I've never even seen this one before. Yeah. So see, I'm learning, guys, how types work. And look, he's got another Flareon, and I got one last one. Yep. And let's see, um, hyper. There we go. Woo! Look at that achievement. Get victory. I don't know why I didn't have that already. Um, but actually, not a single one gained a level. Kind of a letdown. 
Okay, I'm gonna go heal up, and I'm just gonna... I guess... Oh, and the other thing I want to look for is, um... Is the, um... Uh, they're the serpent-looking ones. They're dragons. Um, and they drop, um, diamond. Um... Uh, what are they called? Uh, I, I forgot what both of them are, but, um... They they evolve into each other, or one evolve evolves into the other. And we should, you know, we should probably catch some more Pixelmon as well. So uh, let's see if we can catch one uh, today, um, a good one, or what what I think might be a good one uh, for our army. Oh, I just came over here. I haven't really found anything or any uh, interesting battles. Wait, what? No, that's the right color. But I noticed that Jordan moved out. Oh, I, I don't know where he's gone and moved to. But uh looks like he moved out of here. So oh, I, I like that he left it sort of as, as an abandoned home. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just came up here. I was like, wait, where, where are the... Uh, where, where are the torches? Because, you know, it's usually lit up. And then I noticed everything's gone. He moved out. Oh, I'm going to have to find where my friend has gone to. Uh, I wonder where he moved to. Ooh, look, a boss dwebble. So, um, I've gone, uh, pretty far away. I, I grabbed Mizo and thought, you know what, let's take a ride. And uh, I got to this fairly large island here, and I was just checking to see if there was any, anything interesting, and sure enough, there is a dwebby here. So, um, I'm really, uh, I, I kind of want to, uh, level up already. That's the wrong one. I wanted to, oh, man. I wanted to, all right, whatever. Let's go this way. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to take one shot because the level 81, I'm going to take one shot with spicy noodles. There we go. And then I want to switch to... Uh, <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. So this will be better uh, to go with Articuno because <clears throat> I want to I wanna level, um, level him up uh, because the next time I fight, I want to win. And boom, look at that. And a max potion, which is useless, and a Lepa Berry. I don't know what Aleppa Berry is. Is it a hand item? Yes, it is. I don't know what it's for. Uh, but obviously, an EXP share is what I what I want to keep on for now. But uh, I'll have to look that up. Um, let's see if we can get rid of some stuff here. Uh, I, I Also, one of the reasons I rode uh, Mizoa... Is there a cave here? It doesn't seem like it. Um, one of the reasons I, I rode Misoa was because uh, I thought you get that night vision from him. Uh, so I wouldn't have to use torches because I didn't, I don't think I, yeah, I've got a few. I guess it's okay. Um, what was that little blue thing running? Oh, hey, hey, the, oh, whoa. You, that might be good. So my thought was, you know, I, I feel like I should catch a new uh, Pokemon in this episode. Um... And uh, I don't think it's going to be a legendary because I haven't seen a legendary spawn in forever. So I thought, why not find another pick, uh, another, um, what do you call it, uh, fossil. And um, wow, this goes way down. Uh, now, from what I saw or what James had said, because he'd done more research on it than I have. Um, he said something like, uh, okay, that um, it had to be like in a gravel pile between a levels 20 and 50 or something like that. Which, I mean, the one that I found was just, you know, sitting out. What are we at? So I, I guess we're in that range. So we just need to find gravel, and then we should be able to find a fossil. I mean, they are of... Oh, man, really? This just goes... No, 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 no. I don't believe that. I was, it's it's got to connect somewhere else. It can't be just to here, right? Let's go over here. Let's see if we can get out of the water. Uh, oh, that looks maybe like there's something down there. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Okay, out. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so we made it through. Uh, now I, another. What? This is, this is dumb. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, the caves that seem to sort of connect to one another, um, through the water, which is totally annoying. I'm just gonna um. I, I heard another cave sound, which I mean could be indicative of the cave that I'm in. But uh, let's just let's just head down a little and see if uh, if there's anything um, anything to be found. Oh, man, I I hope I don't I'm not wasting. Well, I am kind of wasting. Oh, and also I want to teach this TM 
to one of my uh, Pixelmon because it is supposedly a very, very good one. Um, and I, I had, I think I had bought the TM and then I looked on it in the wiki and, and the wiki was a little bit, uh, I guess, misleading. It, was, it said something like, you know, uh, works when a, another uh, Pokemon is in Dig or something. And I was like, oh, well, they have to be in a certain move for me to actually use it. And but uh, but apparently not. So uh, I think it's more effective if it's that if that if the uh, the one you're battling is in that um, mode or uh, or is doing that one. Oh, here we go. All right, sweet. Let's just drop down here. All right, yes. Okay. Well, although I don't want to go that low, I want to I want to be up here. Uh, well, it does. Jeez, it does go all the way down to lava, doesn't it? Um, huh. All right, well, we can find another way up, I suppose. I mean, I'm not seeing any. Um, you know what else? I think I, uh, yeah. No, I'm really not seeing any, um, uh, any gravel at all. Although I may not be able to recognize it because of the, uh, the resource pack, but hey. Um, so I was just going to say we should look for fire stone. Is that? No, that's redstone. Darn it. <laughs> it tricked me. I was going to say we should look for firestone. Uh, because it is really hard to get, um, the Firestone Shards. I mean, not that I... There's a Diglett down here? Uh, not that I really need, um, to, uh, evolve a Fire, uh, Pokemon right now. But, it would be nice to have in my deck if, uh, well, you know, not, like, really a trading card deck. But you guys know what I mean. It would be good to have, uh, a Firestone if I ever needed one. And look at all that sand. Um... Yes, that is, yeah, that's what I thought. It's redstone. Ah, uh, all right. <sighs> okay, I'm going to keep going until I find um, something a little bit uh, more exciting. We got iron here, but we got plenty of that. I'm not going to waste my pickaxe on that. Where is all the gravel? Whoa, what? Wow, okay, so guys, I'm at like, <laughs> it's so strange. I wish I could show, so look, I, I, I don't know if it's, if the diglet is down below, or if it's on the surface, but I'm way down at- look, yeah, I'm way down here, and Articuno's way up there. Okay, anyway, I won. Uh, okay, think of two level 62, that's great. I don't know, that was just really weird. So, uh, is it- is it- well, I, Articuno is not thrown out, so I don't know what, what happened there. Oh, I did not- so I came down that way, I didn't see this. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Oh! <laughs> Uh, it might be a little dark, actually a lot dark, guys. Um, but uh, I, I, I hadn't realized, but uh, this sand-looking stuff is gravel. Um, I, I thought it was sand, but uh, the texture pack really is tricky. And of course, I didn't bring a shovel. Um, I was really unprepared for this. Uh, and I also don't really have any wood, so I can't make a shovel. I also can't make torches. But this, um, I did not know that this was, uh, that this was gravel. I'm just going to check here really quick. And then I'm going to go back the way I came because I went past quite a bit of this. And, uh, it'll be nicer with some light, uh, so that you guys can, uh, see what I'm doing. But, uh, I mean, from, you know, it's weird because James was, or everyone said, oh, they're super rare. Um... But I think that's only because you just have to dig for them. I mean, I guess they're not in every gravel pile, but I mean, I don't even know. I was mine. I don't, I'd have to watch my footage back, but I don't even remember if there was gravel around. It was just sitting there. Um, so let's see. Yeah, this is a, oh wait. Oh no. Ah, um, but yeah, this is a big pile of gravel. So you would expect there to be one. I don't know if it doesn't matter the size of the gravel. I guess it doesn't because. Again, when I got mine, it was, uh, it wasn't even covered. It was completely uncovered. So I would think that that is really rare, uh, to find an uncovered one. Ah, there's nothing there. Uh, let's see this one. Nothing there. Nothing there. Cause I think that the block itself will be under the gravel. Um, so I would be able to see it. So I wouldn't have, to, I don't have to open them all up. Ah, all right. Okay. I'm going to find it. Um, I'm going to go back the way I came. Um, which was, I think it was this way. Uh, and then hopefully I can find, um, an area like, oh, look, there's a, there's a, 
Pokemon down here. Um, but uh, yeah, there's another pile. I'm just gonna dig through piles, and if I find anything, um, I'll be right back. Whoa! I found another spawner. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, neat. Uh, this would be a spider spawner, I think. And um, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, but I am gonna check the chests here. Cat! <gasps> My favorite music disc! I- oh, I had a shovel all along. Good thinking, dude. Way to go! You're- you're smart. Um, we got some bread I don't need. I will take cat. We've got a saddle. But we don't really have any horses, um, so that's useless. The bucket... Meh, I can make one of those, so... No big deal. What do we got over here? We've got, uh, well, I'll take the reds. Oh, name tags! Now that might come in handy. That might be something we can use in two of them in one chest. It's pretty sweet. I don't know what I could name, but um, yeah. So let's grab some more of this. That's some good stuff. All right, I, I <laughs> it was weird. Like actually, you know, it's funny. You can't even, I can almost not tell the difference. I mean, the cobble and the regular one, but uh, anyway. And then I saw the chest and I was like, wait. Is this where Jordan moved? And then, yeah, no. <laughs> Not where Jordan moved. Uh, did I pick it up? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna collect all the moss stone again. I'll use this stuff one day, and then I'll be jealous. Be like, oh man, where is he getting all this moss stone from? Uh, but um, yeah, I need, I need to, I, I need to find a, uh, a fossil. I know, I know. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Uh, and I, what I really like about the fossils, and one of the reasons I want to find it, is just because. Um, it's a new Pixelmon, and you really don't know what you're gonna get. Um, you know, it's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. And, um, I, I, uh, I, I think that's exciting, because, you, you know, you go through this whole quest of finding them, and then you find it, and then you bring it back home, and then you, um, you fix it up, or you revive it, and then you get this new Pokemon, which is awesome. And, uh, and it's kind of luck of the draw, so that's pretty cool. Um, and we will find one, I promise. Um, just, uh, just a question of how long it's gonna take me. Ooh, here we go, we got a, we've got a red, oop, sand slash boss. And, uh, I started with the right one because, uh, yow, um, although, let's try Blizzard, let's see if this, oh, look at that! Yeah! Articuno kicking a butt! Two hits! Goodbye, and what? Woo! We got a lot of stuff here. Low sweep, a moonstone, a diamond hammer, and a power lens. That get out of here, Graveler. Come on, really? Come on, get out. Go away. Oh man. Okay, so uh, yeah, that was really good. So um, you guys may notice I'm back home ish, um, and the reason is I just I got I, I got tired of being over there to be honest. Uh, I can get rid of that. Is that, is that everything? Oh, and actually there's some Poke Dollars there too. Let me pick those up and then I'll pick my, my cat record back up. I don't need the gold hammer because I just got a diamond one for free. And uh, yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Um, I, 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 so, you know, I always do this to myself uh, where I am. Um, where I, you know, I, I set a, I set like, oh, I want to do this in this episode, you know. And uh, it's not turning out that way. Uh, I, I got so tired of digging through gravel. Uh, I, I even found another island and uh, that had a tree on it and I made some uh, stone shovels, but uh, still didn't get really very far with it. I just realized that my bridge goes right up, well, okay, right up his tail, let's just say that. Um, but um, yeah, you know, I don't know. It's kind of, ugh, okay, so what I wanted to do then is, um, let's, let's, uh, okay, so I don't know what low sweep is, um, but let's see if we can, um, let's see if we can put some, st so, uh, I also ended up with, uh, like, the power lens, and the power lens sounds, um, like it focuses your strength, um, I do, ooh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure out what that one's for, um, and then see if it's better for some than others. Put the uh, put this here. Put the okay. So oh, and a moonstone. How many? I got seven of those. I don't know why I was so excited about it. I was like, yeah, moonstone. No, I have a million. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I want to put earthquake, and I I I think that um, I think I want to. So I, I'm trying to think. Um, 
when I have Articuno out, right? Um, that is not Articuno. Uh, so Articuno, um, I wonder if I can, hold on, let's see if I can find out summary. So yeah, Articuno is ice and flying. So to me, that means that someone is going, uh, you know, to, to try and take me down um, because ice and flying, uh, someone will, pro could, uh, well, they're probably not going to, they're not going to switch to, um, to, uh, what do you call it? They're not going to switch to, um, to, to one that counters flying because most things counter flying, but they may switch to, uh, the, uh, the, the element or I guess power that, uh, that, that, that is, uh, that counteracts ice, which I think is fire. So that's probably, uh, I, I want to put this on a, on a, on a Pokemon that doesn't have great moves. And I know Articuno doesn't have great moves, but, um, one that, uh, that someone might try and, um, get me with, um, and how they'd be, um, they'd be, let's see, uh, if earthquake is, I think earthquake is, is ground. Um, does ground, hold on. Let me look at my chart. All right. It turns out I was mistaken. Well, uh, well actually I'm not. Um, I was thinking that, uh, I don't know. I, anyway. Uh, so like I said, someone's going to see Articuno. They're going to go, Oh, it is a uh, legendary. It's ice type. I'm going to throw out fire. Uh, so if I have a ground type, which, which does double damage on ice, um, but if I were to give Articuno a fire type, or I'm sorry, ground type move, which gives double damage against fire, uh, it would be a good counter uh, to someone who's going to switch, and I know they will. So um, this, uh, we've got two ice type moves anyway, so let's see, can I, oh no, Articuno can't learn Earthquake. Oh, that would have been good. Um, so let's see who can learn earthquake. Um, uh, let's see, can, let's see electric. So, um, uh, Vulpix is fire type. Um, so water type, electric type, water type. What, what type is Snorlax? Um, Snorlax is just normal. So Snorlax could definitely learn earthquake. Um, but let's see what moves. So we got dark, we got a dragon type. I like I like these moves. Um, let's see. You know what? For alligator does not have great moves. I and in fact, I, I don't know if I want to even well, no, he's my starter. I kinda have to keep him. Um let's let let's let's see if for alligator will learn this type move. And uh we'll swap it with um let's see, hundred percent uh slash versus chip away. Um Let's let's try and replace Chip away. Let's see if we can do that with Fur Alligator. Um, that would have been so good, but yeah, it does make sense that um, no, he can't. Uh, what did you? What do you? Oh no, he he can learn it. Okay, so I'm gonna s replace um, uh, I'm gonna replace Chip away uh, with Earthquake. So let let's see how this works. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and and try this move out. Uh, because actually, I think it's a I think it's a good choice because I do want to keep my starter Pokemon and um. And it, I think it here. We'll, we'll try him against a little. Uh, I mean, a Snorlax here. So uh, I want to keep him. And let's see. So Earthquake Ground type. Let's see. Yes, that is actually pretty good. Uh, let's try Crunch against the Snorlax. Okay, so Crunch works better on a Snor Snorlax. But um, let's see if we can. Let's see. All right. Um, let's try it against a, uh, a Fire type and see if it works. Let's find ourselves a Vulpix or something. We got some Ponytas over here. Let's see. Is it da? Uh... Level 10, level 36. 36 might not be that, uh, but it is versus like 53, but we'll try it anyway. So level 36 versus level 53. Uh, here we go. Earthquake it should be super effective. And yes, excellent. It is a one hit, but oh man, I'd really like to try it on s someone in the, oh man, like, like in the, in the, I mean, it's, that was like a 17 level difference, I think. And. That's still not a good test of the move. Um, but you know what I should do also is, tr ah, level 18, is try it against something that is not um, fire type, but but high leveled, just to see how strong the move is uh, without it being doubly effective. Uh, Cause uh, that, that'll give us a good estimate, right? So let's find, um, let me find one, uh, or let me find a Pokemon to fight that's uh, nearly on the same level. 
and then I'll just use Earthquake just to see what it does. Um, although, hopefully, oh, yeah, oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Let's uh, let's switch here. Um, let's switch to uh, Noodle Gator. So let's see what this does. So it's 53 versus 41. Let's see how strong this move is. Whoa! Our our box aren't Fire type. It says are they? I don't I don't know. I, maybe they are. But uh, it was super effective. So um. Maybe, uh, wait, what else is, is ground effective on? Or doubly effective? I can't remember. But, uh, but anyway, this looks to be, this, that move right there just made me really start liking Frolligator again. I, I had not been using him for quite some time, um, because he was pretty weak. He died a lot, or got KO'd a lot. And uh, now that he's got this move, I mean, I think he, actually, is he my least? Well, he's not my lowest powered um, Pixelmon, but he's close. Um, and and uh, I, it's because of his his move set. So I, I think I need to start looking more at the um, at the TMs I have because um, you know something as simple as adding a move to your uh, your 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 Pokemon uh, can really really increase their effectiveness and uh, and and make them. Uh, formidable in battle and that's what I want uh, for the next time I battle uh, James and Dan and everyone because um, you know people are gonna expect certain moves um, but if you can if you can throw a TM into uh, one of them uh, you can give them something unexpected that they're not gonna see coming they're gonna see like they're gonna see um, you know they're gonna see my frog again and they be like, oh that's the one he started with you know he probably kept it for that but they're not gonna expect that I taught him earthquake and uh, and 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 it, you know it may take them by surprise uh, especially because uh, well I don't know I mean I'll have water moves as well uh, that'll be a really really good one against um against fire types um, and um, but uh, how about the Snorlax here? That, that'd be a good test. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Level 41 Snorlax. Let's see this because he's a normal type. So this is not going to be doubly effective against him. Uh, he's level 41, but let's see. Yes, that is really good uh, because what is, what is that bar up there? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Is that? I've never seen that before. Oh, that's my health. Okay, that's or that's this. Yeah, okay. What? Oh, so look at that. So he might actually take uh, down my Feraligator. Uh, but, uh, nope, got him anyway. Yes, so uh, beating a Snorlax um, is actually kind of tough. Uh, they have such um, powerful defense and, uh, and they can put you to sleep and all that. So the fact that he took it down, although it was lower level than us, I'll admit, um, with all uh, just that one move, I, I really, really like my chances now uh, with... with um, with uh, my Feraligator, uh, Noodle Gator, whatever, um, because he's pretty good. I, I wanted to, <sighs> there were so many things I wanted to do. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get a prehistoric, another prehistoric Pokemon. I wanted to try and find a shiny. Um, I, I really, really have not, well, I haven't seen, well, I don't think I've seen any shinies. I mean, I probably have walked right past them many times. Um, but yeah, I want a shiny and I also would love another legendary, but they totally are not spawning. I have not seen one spawn in a couple, in a few weeks now. I mean, playing on the server. Um, so I guess in between episodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect some more materials from the forest, uh, to start working on, um, on James's prank. Uh, there are two. There are two ways to go with it, um, and I'm just not sure which. But it obviously has some, has to do with uh, with his tree there, um, and one. Oh man, it's gonna take a long time. Uh, but I think it'd be the funnier one. So that may be what I have to do. But it's gonna take uh, a few more episodes for me to collect everything I need. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pixelmon. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, new line. <laughs>